I'm here with uh, Brent Butcher, uh, Assistant General Manager at FNSS. FNSS have uh, unveiled their PAS4 ATV at uh, Eurosatori. Yeah, sure, I'd love to. First of all, welcome to the FNSS booth. We're proud to be here at Eurosatori 2018. It's been a great event so far. But this is our unveiling of our first PARS 4x4. Uh, it is for the Turkish Land Forces. Um, it uh, carries a, a occupancy of four, has an occupancy of four. It's a highly mobile vehicle. It's uh, one of the key requirements is it's amphibious. Um, we've also developed a, a weapon station that uh, uh, fires an anti-tank guided missile. Um, we can both support the Cornet system and the Russian-made Omtas. And uh, again, this is our first vehicle. We unveiled it here at Eurosatori and it will start very rigorous testing this summer with our end user and customer. And uh, the vehicle is part of the um, Turkish and Land Forces anti-tank vehicle program, is that correct? That's correct. It is part of the anti-tank program. Um, there are two variants. This is the wheeled variant. Um, there are some very specific requirements. The, all vehicles, all 260 of them, have to be amphibious. Uh, but this is the 84 wheeled vehicles. There's a quantity of 84. It's also amphibious. Um, they both have common weapon systems. Uh, but the rest of the vehicles are on a track platform, also designed, developed, produced by FNSS in Turkey. And that uh, track platform is based on the Kaplan 10, is that correct? That's correct. It's uh, based on the Kaplan family of vehicles, which is a, a highly mobile tracked family of vehicles that range from uh, the 12-ton range up to the 35-ton range. And uh, how is the testing and development of these vehicles in the program going so far? You know, we, we started designing this vehicle about 18 months ago. Uh, we've already gone through a, no, uh, a number of mine blast events. Uh, we've done a numerous amount of ballistic testing. We've produced two internal vehicles for testing. But this is the first vehicle, 18 months later, where we've produced a 4x4 vehicle ready for testing. We've already qualified the weapon system. We had a very successful firing about three weeks ago with a uh, Cornet anti-tank guided missile. Uh, hit the bullseye, very first shot. So we're actually doing really well. Uh, and, and per the schedule, uh, everyone seems to be happy so far. And uh, beyond the Turkish Land Forces, are you looking to export this vehicle to any other customers? We do have some other opportunities. Uh, one is for another agency or another group of the armed forces in Turkey, the Turkish Naval Forces. They're very interested in these vehicles also. But internationally, we've seen a lot of interest uh, in countries that would like to look at maybe alternative reconnaissance vehicles. Um, this does have, like I said, some unique features. Uh, being a 4x4, uh, an amphibious uh, capability in a 4x4 isn't always easy. You have to go to a rear engine design, you have to set up the, uh, the internal layout a little differently, and then adding the weapon system uh, makes it even a little more complex. But for reconnaissance purposes, we've had several international customers that are very interested in it. And uh, what time schedule are you looking at for the vehicle to go into production and to eventually be delivered to the uh, Turkish Land Forces? Yeah, we'll start production early next year and we'll start delivering the vehicles towards the end of next year.